Madam Speaker, back in May, I filed an amendment in committee hoping that I could work with the administration between then and now, floor consideration, to develop a meaningful way for community development loan funds to participate in this legislative proposal. I wanted to take the opportunity to boast about it, being included in the final version and discuss the urgent need to assist community development loan funds who have been left behind in too many programs that help small business and institutions. Since its inception, the Treasury CDFI fund has certified over 1,200 CDFIs in banks, credit unions, loan funds, and venture capital funds. CDFI banks, credit unions, and loan funds have been historically well managed. It is without a doubt that CDFIs are critical to the development of minority and underserved populations, especially nonprofit loan funds that have traditionally served the more economically and racially diverse communities. 70% of CDFI recipients are low income and over 50% are minority and majority female. Furthermore, micro lending and small business lending represent 45% of CDFI loans. Recognized for an additional 30 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I commend the administrations and Mr. Frank's leadership in recent proposals to increase CDFI funds investment and, to and the launch of two new initiatives within the CDFI program to improve the health and economic viability of low-income communities. However, nonprofit loan funds that serve credit-starved communities were left out of many of these initiatives. This bill was my attempt to right that wrong. I look forward to working together to ensure that not nonprofit community development loan funds are provided an adequate opportunity to participate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back the Gentlemen's time, time has expired.